Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece news. One Piece, big news. So what does that mean? One Piece. Wow. <laughs> I love this shit. That's right. That's right. So, I'm going, the, the article itself on Anime News Network, that link will be in the description box down below. And I'm going to read the entire article for you guys. And I'm going to actually put the article in front of you in this video. But if you guys want to read for yourself again, the article will be in the description box down below. Now, the title of the article is as follows. One Piece manga has 300... Look, look. 345 million copies in print worldwide that has to be the most that has to be the most i think that the only mangas that come close are like naruto dragon ball z and slam dunk i believe so but i could be wrong about that i don't think 300 yeah you know someone second check yeah someone in the comment section if you have some time go online and check it and then make sure I'm correct about that, and then post the actual comment in the comment section down below. Because that has to be the most. That has to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the actual article for you guys. And then, again, it's going to be right in front of you, the entire article. So here we go. Viz Media revealed on Thursday that Ichiro Oda's One Piece pirate manga has 35 million copies in print worldwide. Shueisha has announced last month that as of the manga's 72nd volume, which shipped in, in Japan on November 1st, the manga has 300 million copies in print in Japan alone. In alone, man. So, I mean, obviously, One Piece, every time we look at, like, the top 10 manga when it comes to sale every year, One Piece just dominates. It's like, people say the big three. No, it's not the big three. It's the big one. One Piece, and then the rest just fall in line. And we continue. One Piece has been published for more. No, oh, yeah. One Piece has been published in more than 25 countries worldwide. Now, Viz Media is celebrating this milestone with a release of a digital One Piece retrospective. Viz Media will give away the retrospective for free to current registered VizManga.com and VizManga app users as well as new members who sign up between November 21st through November 27th. The retrospective includes five exclusive full-color art spreads, a collection of covers for 69 volumes of the manga, an interview with Oda, and the Strong World manga one-shot that takes place 20 years before the start of the series. The New York Times ran a full-page advertisement for One Piece in its front section of page A25 on Thursday. So I'm going to put the picture on the bottom left hand corner of the video right here. Now let me talk for a few minutes now and then I'll call it a video. First of all, it's very obvious where One Piece is dominant, Japan. Again, out of the 345 million copies in print, 300 million of them are in Japan. Which means 45, about 45 million worldwide. Now, the thing here is that even though One Piece dominates Japan when it comes to their sales, because, again, we see this every year, top 10 manga sales, it's One Piece and the rest. The thing here is that when it comes to, like, European countries, especially in the States and in Canada, it's not the case. In fact, I believe that the most popular manga in the States is, at this point in time, Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Time. And then Naruto at number two, probably, and then Bleach somewhere like number four or five. But One Piece is not. When it comes to the states, it's not. It's not. The, it's not the top of the food chain, like it is in Japan. It's not the head honcho. But what I have noticed over the course of the years, and I'm not saying that I'm correct in saying this, but this is what I've noticed. Is that there seems to be the steady incline in the popularity of One Piece. More and more people 
are starting to get into One Piece. And it's probably for a wide variety of reasons, but I think one of the major reasons is because when it comes to Naruto and Bleach, two very popular series in the United States of America at this point in time, Naruto especially, they're ending. Naruto, give or take a year and a half. Seriously. S seriously. And Bleach, two and a half years, three years, if Kubo can really push it. But after that, we see that there's series like Attack on Titan, where if you do the math, about three years for that series too. But because of One Piece popularity, and not only Japan, but I also believe in France as well, either France or Germany. I, I forget uh, I forget uh, which European which European country it is, because I do know that one of those countries, their anime, is way ahead of our anime. Because they, they, I believe, are like either at the Whitebeard War or they're even at the time skip or, or after the time skip. Where in the United States and in Canada, the One Piece dub is still like at the end of any slobby. It's fucking embarrassing. But then, even, of course, that's probably because of the fact that people really didn't like the initial one, one, uh, one Piece dub. I mean, people, some people did like it. But I think the consensus was, was that the initial One Piece dub was not beneficial for, or it wasn't a good move when it came to the initial introduction of, of the One Piece anime in the States. I mean, after all, it was Toy Guns, it was Zolo, it was Rufy, it was Sanji, Lollipop, you joy kid, it was like, what the fuck is happening here? So... The thing here is that you can blame it on that if you want to have at it. Me personally, I did like it, but not nearly as much as I do now. That's very obvious because back in the day, I forgot how old I was exactly, but it was obviously very childish. It was funny, but very childish. Where at this point in time, when you add in the blood, when you add in the dire situations, and when you have real guns and people actually dying, and it, it, it would basically... It's better. Let's let me leave it at that. It's better. That simple. But regardless, even on YouTube, from what I've heard, initially in like 2009, 2010, uh, 2008, you couldn't really mention One Piece without getting bashed. Apparently, if you mention One Piece, people bashed you. If you made a video saying, I like One Piece, people bashed you. Apparently. And I wasn't around back then for uh, on, on YouTube back in the day. Maybe someone can confirm that. I don't know. But the thing here is that now on YouTube, if you make a video against One Piece, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, people come at you with pitchforks and it's, it's like, oh, we're gonna kill you. And it's the complete from what I've been hearing, because again, I wasn't there back in the day on YouTube, but it's the complete antithesis of what we see now. So, there's been this steady incline of, of One Piece's popularity over the course of the years. And, I mean, even New York Times, the New York Times, even though it was on page 15, still, New York Times, One Piece, Luffy right there, One Piece Cross USA, are there any adventures here? Yeah! So, New York Times. I mean, I don't read the New York Times, but still, New York Times nonetheless. And then even the Viz Media, they're doing this uh, free uh, retrospective where even if you are automatically subscribed to the VizMediaManga.com or the uh, app on your phone, you get this free One Piece retrospective of like 80 of uh, 69 uh, covers. And uh, the 20 years ago, the One Piece Strong World, fill, uh, the you know, wait, the... You know, like the manga chapter where it was Shiggy, basically, and Goldie Roger. That one. But regardless, give me your thoughts on that. And were things the way they were back in YouTube when it comes to One Piece? I'm not too sure. That's what I heard. But then again, I wasn't there. But I have noticed this steady incline in the popular One Piece. Especially now that we have series like Naruto and Bleach ending. And people trying to find other manga to look for. I mean, I've heard people are now really getting into, like, Magi and, you know, One Piece, and we got uh, Kingdom, and we got Shigeki no Kyojin, you know, those series. And they're really starting to get up now. Even Gintama, which is 
the game down. Whatever, I'm done. King Lightning. Be sure to, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.